You already know how I'm feeling right now. I have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Real quick, backstory. Cedrapoise, my first ever niche fragrance, ever. Would have been back in end of 2017, beginning of 2018, probably when I got it, this bottle right here. Got another one, full backup, a newer batch, uh, just to have around, but this started my niche collection, and this, to this day, is still a fragrance I absolutely love. Now, that's an eau de parfum, okay? So, I've always gotten good performance out of it. People claim reformulation. I have a newer bottle, like I said, same exact performance, same exact smell on me, but to each their own. Love the scent. You can actually get the original here for around $76 right now. I'll link it down below. A lot of you guys have already picked that deal up, but it's a great deal. And we finally have Intense Cedrap Boise. Now, this is the first fragrance from Mansara to be recreated into an Intense version. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's an straight to parfum. So we're going full blown concentration. I love parfums. Uh, I love how they wear on my skin. So seeing this being so one of my favorite fragrances from Mansara and also combining one of my favorite concentrations, needless to say, I've been counting down the days for this one. I will link this one up down below as per usual so you can pick it up. It is for currently available uh, retail only, of course just came out, uh, 200 bucks, 120 milliliters. It's gonna be more expensive, of course. We are talking a higher concentration. Uh, in terms of presentation, nothing new or different or special, even though it is uh, a higher priced scent, even though it is a higher end line, you know, being in a straight, still the same box, still the same pouch. Pouches are, are cool. You could either love them or hate them or just think they're okay. For me, I've seen one, you've seen them all. I usually just kind of throw them. So the first thing I notice is, I was going to get my full bottle of Cedrat Boise, maybe I will still. Coloration, big difference. Extrait, EDP, much darker. Let me get my full bottle. So here we go. This will demonstrate it better. I guess, see, it's not as big of a difference when you actually compare two full bottles side by side and the camera isn't going to do it justice, but you can tell EDP, the new Extrait. There is a coloration difference. Uh, Coloration doesn't always mean anything or everything, but you know, it is nice to see. Um, intense written right there on the front in gold lettering. Looks amazing. All right, oh, and they did go with the magnetic cap. Magnetic cap feature is a little bit weaker compared to some, maybe it needs to get broken in, but it kind of, you know, doesn't seat fully by itself. Makes some weird noises too. I believe this will also have the upgraded pressurized atomizer. We're about to find out. Yep, sure does. Look at that. Oh, I'm so pumped up. <sighs> oh, yes. That's absolutely gorgeous. Incense right away. Like a, I don't know, a labdanum balsamic incense immediately. A pineapple smell. A heavy dose of fruitiness. Some creaminess underneath. Truly an intense, extrait, creamy, silky, smooth, richer version of the EDP, which I already love so much and think it, it couldn't get better, but this is drop dead gorgeous. I love this right off the bat. I wasn't sure what direction this was going to go. You know, I didn't know if they were going to really keep the scent exactly the same or maybe minor differences but just bump the concentration bump the performance but in this instance here there are noticeable differences to the actual scent itself in the best way possible we'll take a look at the full note breakdown here uh, we've got bergamot lemon black pepper and pink pepper and black currant up top so pretty much the same there in the mid we have patchouli suede leather uh oud and white sandal uh, in the mid, white sandal wood, I would imagine. In the base, we have ambergris, musk, vanilla, wild oak moss. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm picking up on there. Definitely like a vanilla, but for me, like a, a labdanum smokiness, like I was saying. I guess the smokiness would be coming from the patchouli and uh, maybe some of the oud and then some of the other sweetness that I was talking about from the vanilla, perhaps. But I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it smells so great. And from that initial first spray to now, 
hasn't moved a whole lot, kind of sitting pretty strong here, uh, not changing a whole lot just yet. Um, this is definitely gonna need to be one where I wear through to the dry down multiple times to see how it develops. Uh, being that it is an extrait and also being that it is from Mancera, I expect this to do very well in terms of performance. So it'll probably be a pretty decent wearing experience. You know, it'll probably take a while to get through those full transitions. You're not gonna have it go from, from opening to dry down in 10 minutes, that's for sure. So it'll be something you gotta be in for the long haul here to see how it develops, but I'm excited. I love how this comes across. It, it truly is, and I know I've said this already, but I'm trying to convey this. It is an intense version. It is an extrait version. So, you know, going into this here, don't expect the exact same as the original Sadrapoise. And really, you don't necessarily want to, uh, because if you're paying the money, you want something a little bit different. Um, but this one here, man, I mean, it, it nails it, you know. I, the oud is gonna scare some people, but I will say this, and I'm super proud to say this, by the way, it's not medicinal at all. One thing about Mancera, and more specifically about their ouds, a lot of times they are medicinal. Even Mancera Oud Lemon Mint, which is a fresher spring, early summertime fragrance, the oud in there is medicinal, right? So even when it's in a fresher version, Typically, their ouds and their fragrances a lot of times can lean medicinal, uh, red tobacco even a little bit, right? And that's one of the main issues I see when people are talking about Mancera's. Oh, that smells medicinal, this smells medicinal. And not for nothing, a lot of them have some of that going on. Now, a lot of times you can get past it, you can work past it. Uh, as it dries down, it'll fade out, but you do get that. Uh, the oud here is not that way at all. I don't know if it's a different compound, I don't know if it's just a small amount, but it's much more smooth. I I find also that the quality of this one just seems to be better, more well-rounded. Like I've said, ad nauseum, smooth. That is the word to describe this one. The original is smooth. I think, you know, from opening to dry down, it, it's a great uh, transition, but this one is next level. It's like a smooth piece of fiberglass that's laid out, just silky smooth. It's like you can't even feel your hands running down it, like silky vinyl leather. That's what this smells like, and it is amazing. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, we'll take a look at the description. Uh, intense Cidrat Boise Extrait de Parfum opens up with a sharp, zesty burst of black currant and citrus. Definitely get both of those there. Again, like a pineapple for me. So bergamot being used in the top. Uh, for those who are unaware, when it comes to like Creed Aventus, bergamot, or uh, pineapple-based fragrances, they're really using a, a higher quality different form of bergamot to help achieve a pineapple smell. There is no actual pineapple note, fun fact. And so when you're smelling pineapple, it's actually coming from the bergamot here. Uh, while quickly laying down with a smooth heart of jasmine and patchouli, so a lot of the patchouli I'm getting for sure, not too much of the florals yet, uh, beneath the fruity freshness, these notes remain lively for hours before slowly melting into a sumptuous base of cedar, leather, and musky oak moss. That's it for the description. Really gives you everything you need to know. Like I said, for me, right off the bat, I picked up on some of that vanilla oud, smokiness, kind of resinous touch off the top. Um, and so it, it, you can smell that before you get into the dry down, but I do see what they're saying as you get into the dry down, eventually those fruits will wear off and you're stuck with the base layer, which I would imagine you would be smelling well into the 12 hour mark. It would not shock me because Cidrat Boise will get to that point for me, the EDP. So uh, I would imagine this is gonna do very well. It's a little bit more mature. It's more refined. It's gonna be a little bit more daring obviously so, right? Take a look at the notes and, and it will be. I still think it's gonna be a compliment destroyer though and I still think a lot of you guys are gonna like it. Uh, if you're a younger guy, you might wanna just start out with the original Cidrat Boise, the EDP, sample this one first. If you're older, you want something more mature and maybe a bit more of a challenge, you want that step above, this is the way to go. You can kind of look at it like Leighton versus Leighton Exclusif. Although to me, this isn't near as daring as Leighton Exclusif. So it's kind of a step down from that, but still for sure, you know, a step up from Cidrat Boise and, and giving it that extra oomph. And if Cidrat Boise is too boring for you, this would be the solution to your problem. Uh, that's really all I've got. I am blown away 
in love. I Again, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't look at the note breakdown before this one, um, so I was really just expecting Sidrat Boise, but stronger. But I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that there are some key differences here in the scent, and I am all for it. Stunner. It's juicy. It's almost gourmand because it's so fruity, and I just want to bite into it. I love this stuff. But again, you know, I'm a big fan of Sidrat Boise. It only makes sense. If you don't like Sidrat Boise, this may not necessarily fix it for you, but it depends on the reasons why you don't like this one. There you have it. Like straight over here, EDP over here. Difference in coloration, difference in scent. Performance will be tested in, and talked about in an upcoming review. Love it, gorgeous. Uh, 200 bucks for me, don't care at all. I'm glad I did. Probably gonna be waiting a while until it hits discounters because uh, it took long enough to hit here in the US anyway. So, you know, for me, I don't have a problem with this purchase at all. I will link it down below if you wanna check it out as well. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Get you some intense to drop boise. It smells sexy in the evenings. And we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.